Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Andrea, I am a former pastry chef and I'm now here sharing all of my tips and pastry chef career advice with you guys so that hopefully you can learn something and learn from my experience. If you guys are interested in these kinds of videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Okay, so as a former pastry chef, I did go to culinary school, specifically Le Cordon Bleu Paris. If you're interested in learning more about what that was like, I do have a video talking all about the school and what it's like to go there. So I know I'm hearing from a lot of you from messaging me on Instagram. Don't forget to follow me there as well if you wanna see a little bit more of my day to day. And you guys are messaging me here as well, letting me know that you are going to be going to culinary school very soon and specifically pastry school. And a lot of you have the same questions. What can I do to prepare before going to culinary school? So in today's video, I'm gonna share my five tips on what to do prior to going to culinary school. Okay, so number one might be a little bit obvious and it might be what you're already doing, but it's to immerse yourself in the baking world, the pastry world, anything related to baking and pastry. So what I mean by that is to watch YouTube videos, um, pastry documentaries, pastry competitions. That's one of my favorite things to watch and to learn from, as well as visiting local bakeries if you're able to, just really immersing yourself in the pastry world, getting to know different chefs, different types of pastry making, styles. I feel like if you feel like you're more part of the community, you'll just feel that much more confident being surrounded by so many other people who are passionate about pastry. Not only that, it'll give you a lot of inspiration for how you want your own desserts to look. And of course, culinary school is a time to explore different styles, to learn from the chefs that are there, but already exposing yourself to this world and to different types of plating and decorating, you'll start to begin to develop your own kind of style. And again, that should all just translate into being more confident once you are in culinary school. Tip number two is to practice new recipes, recipes that you have never made before, at least once before going to culinary school, and preferably more traditional type of pastry pastry recipes such as pata choux, a pastry dough, one that you would make a tart with, pastry cream, just these very traditional recipes that can be tricky if you've never made them before and you're guaranteed that you're going to be making them in culinary school. So I find it just, it really helps to make something first at home when you have plenty of time to figure out the recipe. Even if it fails, you still have more experience than you would have if you had never done the recipe before. This way, when you're finally in class, you're seeing the demonstrations, you know a little bit of what to expect from the recipe. And then when you go to make it for the first time, you just feel that much more confident because maybe you'll have a little bit less anxiety because you've already made it once before and you know what to expect, you know what things could go wrong. So hopefully it'll help you when you're making it and it counts for your grades. My third tip is to invest in getting some piping tips, some piping bags and practicing your piping. I think that is one of the things that people get scared about a lot in culinary school. It's the moment when it comes down to decorate your cake and you've just got the one cake and you've gotta get it right because it is counting towards your grade. And a lot of people freeze up if they don't have enough practice. So what I recommend is to, like I said, get some piping tips. You don't even need many, maybe one or two, just to start, get a piping bag, and you can just easily buy some store-bought icing, it's usually very inexpensive to do so, and fill up your piping bag and just take a tray with some parchment paper and start piping. And that way you can just scrape up the icing and just keep practicing over and over again until you feel confident so that when that day comes and you do go to decorate your cake or whatever it may be, you just feel like you have a little bit more practice and experience under your belt to do a good job. And along with that, also practice your writing. I think in most culinary schools, I know I I did had to write something on a cake before and that again is incredibly nerve-wracking with icing and decorating and piping sometimes you're able to scrape it off if you mess up 
and start again. But with writing, there's just one shot, right? So it's really nerve wracking. And again, if you have practiced many times ahead of time, you will just feel that much more confident doing it in culinary school. My fourth tip is to practice making a recipe under a little bit of pressure. So what I would do is I would set a timer for two hours and try to make something within that time constraint. So your time should include everything from getting all of your materials ready, your tools, your ingredients, baking times, decorating, everything from the beginning to end within the time frame. Now, even if you don't finish it on time, at least it's practice of working under pressure and just keep doing this until you do make something within the time frame that you've allotted for yourself so that you can feel a little bit more experienced when it comes to culinary school and you do have those time constraints whenever you have to make something. And a little extra challenge that you can do going along with that is work clean. So try to make your recipe without getting yourself dirty and practice cleaning as you go and making sure everything's organized and tidy as you make your recipe. If you do this a few times, I assure you, you're going to be a step ahead of everyone else who hasn't practiced this in culinary school because once you get in there, you do have a time limit and you have to work clean. So it's something you definitely want to practice ahead of time. And my last and final tip, it might not be doable for everybody, but this is what I would suggest. It's not something that I did personally, but I would have liked to have done so. And that is to either work in a cafe, bakery, a restaurant, anywhere where they serve pastry or make pastry. It doesn't even have to be hands-on experience actually making pastry or anything. It's just being in that environment where you are surrounded by chefs and pastries and cakes and things like that. Because I think the career of a pastry chef is really glamorized. And I think if you actually get to see what it's like firsthand behind the scenes, it'll just give you a much better idea and manage your expectations once you do get to culinary school and come out of culinary school and go into the working world. All right, so those are my five tips. And I really believe that if you do all all these things before going to culinary school you'll just be that much more confident sure of yourself feel like you belong there and I think you'll be able to do really well let me know if you have something you would add to this list and if you have any questions at all ask them down below in the comment section if you found this video useful or helpful don't forget to give it a like and thank you for supporting my channel and I will see you guys in the next video bye